America. The land of football, hot dogs, Taylor Swift and Twinkies, the home of the free and the land of the brave. And baseball, but not cricket. Well, the World Cup heads to America in a few months and on my recent trip, I wondered, could I buy a cricket bat in America? It's 4.30 in the morning and I'm, well, I'm going to America to buy a cricket bat. <laughs> That's not the only reason why I'm going out to America. I'm playing with uh, the John Boy team in the warehouse uh, for the Ball in Play League, which will be good. Videos for that won't come out till June, so there will be a bit of a delay, but you would have seen this one by now. Um, but yeah, I just need to get on a train for 5.15 in the morning and um, get myself over to Heathrow. We're getting there. London's actually all right at 6 a.m. There's literally nobody about. Okay, breakfast is done. Um, let's go and find an aeroplane. They're quite serious about security, so um, yeah, let's go find my lift. Now, whilst I'm in America and hunting for this cricket bat, you might be wondering, Dan, how are you keeping up with the fifth test? And more importantly, how are you going to watch the highlights of when Basball got thumped 4 1 in India? And the answer is a perfect time to talk about this video sponsor, NordVPN. So whilst I'm sat here in New Jersey, I can change my location to a soggy London and make sure that I never, ever miss James Anderson's 700th test wicket or England losing 4-1 in India. But focus on the 700 because that's better. And if you go to nordvpn.com forward slash our cricket, there's a bargain to be had, which I'll talk about in just a second. See, now that England get on with these test matches, us as fans, we've got more time on our hands. Test matches don't go four days, let alone five. So what are you gonna do with your time? Obviously, you go on Netflix, don't you? And you've watched everything on UK Netflix because as I say, England have finished their test matches early. So go to Australia, go to the US, go to Canada, find some stuff on Netflix that you can't get back home. And if having fun on the internet isn't your thing and reviewing personal cricket stats are, you might be wondering, Dan, how are you safe from New Jersey bad guys on the internet, New Jersey. I haven't got the accent yet. NordVPN protects all your personal data, especially when using public Wi-Fi. So like this hotel, for example. So all your personal data and your cricket stats, um, they're never gonna be stolen by maybe a, your dodgy teammate or, or the internet bad guys out there. And obviously no one then is gonna find out that you only averaged seven with the bat in 2016. NordVPN also gives customers a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not totally satisfied within 30 days, get all your money back. And if you've heard enough and you want to sign up, you can go to nordvpn.com forward slash our cricket for the two year plan where you will get an additional four months protection with NordVPN. All the information is in the description of the video. Okay, so. Found a shopping centre in Jersey City. Now, I wouldn't even expect to be able to buy a cricket bat in one of these places in the UK, so to find one over here I think will be pretty much a no-go, but hey, we'll give it a go. So far, nothing. 
This place is hosting a World Cup in about two months time. India versus Pakistan is in New York. I haven't even found a baseball bat yet. Absolute bust. The best thing I think I've found is a shop that nearly, nearly I thought was Virat Kohli's. Um, but other than that, absolutely nothing. There's an active wear section in Macy's, which to be honest, I don't even know how people play sport. I've literally seen no equipment that would enable someone to do it. Not a single bit of sports equipment. I've had my, I've had offered to have my shoes shined twice, which is very kind of 1600s London, isn't it? Next, I'll be trying to sweep my chimneys as well, but oh well, that's a bust. Good news. How do I do that? Good news. I did find a cricket bat in the end though. Um, I did cheat massively. I actually had it ordered over to the John Boy offices before I even left the UK because, well, I kind of had a sneaky feeling that there wasn't going to be a cricket bat for sale in one of the shops. Um, so I've got this. It's a, it's a hammer. Yep, that's what it says. Hammer. Never heard of it. And, uh, and it looks like, well, yeah, it looks like that. It was like 50 bucks. As it turns out, you can buy a cricket bat in America. And um, now, well, I've just got to try and get the bloody thing home in one piece, which is kind of difficult. And the cricket bat is twice as long as my suitcase. I'll take that. Yeah, most cricketers would, wouldn't they, to be fair? Just like dive in oh somebody else. Oh my goodness. The hammer. Yeah. I got those stickers. That's quite nice. They're okay, aren't they? That's like 45 US dollars of some cash real quick. I mean, mate, I don't even know if it's that good. Can I peel these? Let's do it. Right. I mean, it's got jack seal on the I don't know. I really don't mind that. Have you got a ball to it? No. We'll find one at the warehouse. Yeah, I think we probably could do. Good battle with that. Joe, mate, I've kind of hijacked your kind of training session today, and I appreciate you. You've given up your time, and I've bought this cricket bat, it is a cricket bat. I was gonna say a nice cricket bat, but I'm not sure whether it is. It's a hammer, and I've bought it back from the States. I've still got the luggage label on it, just in case you didn't believe me. It's, it's not the most expensive, but it has proved that you can buy cricket bats in America. What do you think? 50 US dollars of fine wood. Okay, first impression, like, there's a, a lot of wood. The shape actually looks quite nice, something that I'd probably use. Yeah, first impressions, I think, may be better than what I'd expected yeah. for not being able to for maybe find a, a bat shop or a, a cricket shop in, in America. Yeah, have a hit and see how it goes. Hopefully okay. it's going to be okay, but good luck. Thank you, thank you. Is that on? No, that's not on yet. Okay, here we are. It's a good start. Oh no. There's a big imprint oh, already. <laughs> oh, Joe. Shot. Don't make me go back to the States because I've been keeping my receipt. Oh, no. Sounds pretty good from this Yeah, end. it's actually not bad. I mean, I'm not sure how many, how many balls it's going to last with the imprints that it's leaving, but... Oh, no. I suppose they only play like T10s and T20s yeah, in the States anyway, so <laughs> the bat doesn't have to make it back for day three. Joe. It's not the best cricket bat I've ever bought in my life. Sure, I take it all back, it's the best cricket bat I've bought. That in one felt good. First impressions? When it comes off the middle, it's not bad, it's just there's uh, there's not much forgiveness. The face does not look pretty. <laughs> no, no, I know. It's, not, it's literally, oh, it's the dimples from the, oh, uh, wow. the machine ball. That's, um... I'll tell you one thing, it's maybe useful to know where you're hitting them. <laughs> all the grip's kind of... Uh, I know. Yeah. yeah, it's exposing a bit of the uh, the polyfluor, whatever they've used there, to stick the, the string on. <laughs> oh, well. Keep yeah, we'll give it another bash. I mean, $50 is 45 quid, which, in order to play cricket, 45 quid, it's, it's a bit of a bargain. Probably, you have to factor in the fact it would have cost a couple of hundred quid to fly out there in the first place and the 15 hour delay was an inconvenience but you can still play. Oh yeah yeah. You okay. really know when you've hit it badly that's for sure. The middle's actually getting better. better. 
I kind of, when I first saw it, I thought if I hit a few nicely, it might just explode. But it's actually, other than the dimples on the face, it's holding together better than I thought. Oh, that's what bowl. Oh, it's just come back. Oh, that's bold. Blame the bat. No, not at all. Use the error. <laughs> Three left. What a piece of kit. I mean, I'm not gonna stand here and say, don't spend 700 quid on a cricket bat because you're just gonna get something better, but it's not bad for four or five quid. Honest thoughts? Um, I think you, you, you get rewarded for clean contact, but anything other than that, you're struggling. When you hit it well and you hit it in the middle, it's not, it's not awful. Right, here we go. The name Hammer should fill you full of confidence, shouldn't it? Yeah, I know. I'm excited. I'm not gonna follow up Joe, though. Oh, that's swung in. Oh, that's well bowled. Gone down, test the edges out. There we go. It's not bad. Nice shape. Oh. Great catch. <laughs> Elegant. Thanks, mate. There are some surface cracks now. It blows my mind. Last two. Oh. Oh, hold the pose. Cut it out. Make it in a Facebook photo. Shot. It's definitely one of those things, like you get no confidence from holding it. <laughs> but it does genuinely go okay when you yeah. get in the middle of it. As I said, there isn't much forgiveness, is there? No. So far, so good. Money well spent on the hammer. I've just noticed, actually, the H has got like a, it's actually got a hammer in it, look. What a sport. Seal of approval, though. The States can host the World Cup next month. It makes a funny noise as well. Oh no. That made a funnier one. <laughs> oh, that's what bowled. Got Shubman Gill facing James Anderson. <laughs> no. <laughs> I haven't changed anything. I might be making these look so good, but these feel like the best balls I've ever faced <laughs> in my life. Last three. Oh. <clears throat> Rating out of 10? I'd say a four. The flight to America was an inconvenience. No, no. I think you'll probably get something like it in the UK, but yeah. you can buy a cricket bat in America. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs>